Shalom. I want to give all honor and praises to the Most High Yahweh and to His Mighty Son Yahweh Bahashim Hamasiach Yahweh Shai. Shout out to the mighty men, mighty women, and mighty children of Israel. This is Sister Rachel, and today's lesson will be on the out of control Jakes and Eves in, in uh, Miami, Florida. Over the oh, spring break has begun for a lot of. Uh, college children so many of them are flocking to Miami Florida to um, s spend their time also a curfew was set in place due to the current um, pestilence that is going on so many were defying this curfew and going out and partying and becoming drunk and unruly on the streets and causing sedition and um, chaos, which we shouldn't be doing. The Most High doesn't want us to do these things. And I'll prove that with Ecclesiasticus chapter 26, verse 5. There be three things that mine heart fear, and for the fourth I was sore afraid, the slander of a city, the gathering together of an unruly multitude, and a false accusation. All these are worse than death. So the Most High has told us that a gathering together of an unruly multitude is worse than death. So you can say that this is a very bad thing these young people have committed. And here's some clips of the incident. As you can see, it's just monkey behavior, just being drunk, alcohol bottles out, dancing around in whorish clothes, just um, being really unruly. Um, and men and women um, both were not supposed to be drunkards um and it, if there's alcohol involved there's definitely a lewd and lascivious behavior going on especially with the clothing a lot of our young women israelite women were wearing out there um and i'll prove this with the book of ecclesiasticus chapter 26 verse 8 through 9 a drunken woman and a gather abroad causeth great anger and she will not cover her own shame the whoredom of a woman may be known in her haughty looks and eyelids. Usually when uh, uh, we get drunk, um, it causes um, things, sins such as lust and wrath to increase. And you can see it, like if you go to the club, you can see it like in women in men's faces, the bedroom eyes and just being sloppy drunk probably getting very aggressive, getting into fights, just very sinful behavior. And this is how we, sh how us Israelite women should be acting and dressing. The book of First Timothy chapter two, verse nine. In like manner also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel with shamefacedness and soberity, not with broidered hair or gold or pearls or costly array um israelite women uh we should uh we should be modest we shouldn't be wearing tight pants sh short shorts tank tops that show our cleavage crop tops those really tight um maxi dresses we should be in long loose skirts and dresses with the boob blue ribbon and fringes, our hair covered, shirts that don't aren't tight and don't show our cleavage. Uh, not running around with gaudy hair and jewels and makeup and everything looking like ostriches and clowns. And here's an example of some of the women who are out there. Okay, uh, I know you just saw them. 
uh, some of our, uh, I'm assuming judo women, uh, with low cut tops, this wearing like looking like whores. You can see women in tight dresses, tight skirts in the back, uh, with like shameless behavior. Like uh, the girl in the video says that uh, she she does not care about the curfew. She cares more about getting drunk and partying and dressing and acting like a whore. And this is not how we should conduct ourselves, lady. This brings negative attention, the attention you don't want. You set yourself up to be a victim, especially if you get drunk in public. Um, and then men uh, may think you're up for something that you may not be because of your dress. You dress like a whore or a prostitute, they'll treat you like one. Um, the book of First Peter, chapter 3, verse 3. Whose adorning let it not be that outward adorning of plating the hair and of wearing gold or of putting on apparel. So again, we shouldn't be um, all into our appearance, putting on uh, all this gold jewelry, nose rings, um, lip piercings weaves, bleaching our hair, uh, putting on whorish clothes. This is not how Israelite women should um, present themselves. If you want to be treated with respect, you have to respect yourself first. And respecting yourself is dressing in a modest way so that you don't attract the negative attention of um, men also when you dress this way, you put evil spirits onto men, so they aren't going to treat you as you would like to be treated because they have evil spirits put on them due to your um, whorish appearance. The book of First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 14. Now we exhort you, brethren, warn them that are unruly, comfort the feeble-minded, support the weak, be patient with towards all men. Again, we shouldn't be un an unruly people. Um, we're a nation, um, the Most High created us to be separate from the other nations. We're above everyone. We shouldn't be acting like monkeys that they think we are. We're um, respectful people who should have pride in themselves and shouldn't act all ruckusy like this because it's, it's really embarrassing. Um, as you can see in this video, sedition was taking place, like they set a car on fire, the police had to use smoke pellets on the crowd, the crowds, and they had to arrest a whole bunch of our young people. Businesses were cl are closing temporarily because it's getting so ruckusy. If you see, we shouldn't even be out here to begin with. Whether you are, are protesting for Black Lives Matter over the death of a black man or uh, rioting for the sake of rioting, we shouldn't be out there doing these things. The Most High doesn't want us out in large unruly gatherings. And this is his breaking sins le left and right. So it's, um, so it's best to stay home and follow the laws, statutes, and commandments and read your Bible. Um, the book of Second Edris, chapter 15, verses 16 through 18. For there shall be a sedition among men, and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor, their, nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. A man shall desire to go into a city, and shall not be able to. For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and the and men shall be afraid. Well, as you can see, when they were burning the car, that's um, an act of sedition, and they were going against the curfew. But this isn't for us. And these verses are referring to um, the oppressors. When once their kingdoms starts um, going into the the big downward spiral, as you saw earlier this year with the um, the capital 
attacks, it's just um, uh, the oppressors will slow, um, surely uh, they'll start doing bigger and bigger acts of sedition. They won't, um, they won't care what the government says. They'll do what they please and we'll get closer to that anarchy point. But that doesn't involve us. We shouldn't be out there committing a sedition. This isn't our country. No matter how many riots or protests you do, it's not going to get better for us because this isn't our kingdom. This place isn't ours just yet. But if we follow the law, statutes, and commandments, we can get our kingdom sooner. The book of Galatians, chapter 5, verse 21. Envyings, murders, murders drunkenness, revilings, and such like, of the, of the which I tell you before, as I have also told you in time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of Yahweh. So if you're out there being a drunk, lewd and lascivious whore slash whoremonger who destroys property and causes havoc, uh, the kingdom of uh, Yahweh is not going to be open for you because that's going against the law, statutes, and commandments. So please, if you've done this in the past, you can repent, but no longer do these things. That is not uh, for us to do. Shalom.